Sometimes it's helpful to mark locations within your document. Maybe you want an anchor that you can use for navigation. Or maybe your document will be distributed electronically or as an EPUB, and you want to create hyperlinks between the pages within the file. Both of these can be achieved by inserting bookmarks within your document. I'm going to use my navigation pane to go down to section 1. If your navigation pane is not open, go up to the View tab and turn on Navigation Pane right here. We talked about the Navigation Pane extensively earlier in this course. So I'll click on Section 1, and that will take me to my introduction. Go to the Insert tab, and in the middle of the ribbon, there's a giant button for Bookmark. The size of the button indicates how really useful this technique is. I'll click on Bookmark, and I'll type in a bookmark name. And when you're typing in a name, you have to start with a letter, and you can't have any spaces in it. I'll call this Introduction. And I'll go ahead and click Add. Now I'll go down to Section 2, and I'll do the same thing. I'll go up to Bookmark, and this time I'm going to put in Employee Status. Because I can't have a space, I'll use Camel Caps, which makes it one word with a capital E and a capital S. And I'll click Add again. And one more time, I'll go down to Section 3, click Bookmark, and then I'll type in Employment Policies. Now I want to point something out about this window. Right now, these are sorted by name, which doesn't put them in order in the document. If you sort them by location, you'll see them in their order through the document. So I'll leave that on location. And then I'll click Add. I would then continue through the rest of my document, inserting all my bookmarks. Now let me show you a few ways to use these. Go back up to the Table of Contents. Instead of being a regular document Table of Contents, this Table of Contents is set up for electronic publication. I want to be able to tap where it says Section 1 Introduction and jump to that part of the document. So I'll highlight that text, and I'll click on Hyperlink. I'll tell it on the left-hand side that I want to link to a place in this document. Down at the bottom of the list, I'll see all of the bookmarks that I've set. This is my introduction, so I'll click on it and click OK. And that's now created a hyperlink. I would then continue doing this for all the other entries in my electronic table of contents. Employee status and click OK. When I control click on one of these links, it will take me to that section. Another way that I can use bookmarks is with the Go To feature that we explored earlier in the course. I'll click on the page number in the bottom left-hand corner of my screen, and it takes me to my Go To tab. I'll click on Bookmark, drop down the one that I want, and click Go To, and it will jump me right there. This is great if you don't have your navigation pane open. So these are just two examples of how to use a bookmark as a reference in your document. As you dig deep into Word, you'll see bookmarks referenced in other locations as well. They're almost as ubiquitous as using Heading 1, 2, and 3 styles. In the next video, we'll see how to use a bookmark as a cross-reference.